Hey, what's going on everybody? DroidLife.com here again with another application review. It's a slow Saturday, so we're just pumping these bad boys out. Uh, what we want to show you today is the Dolphin Browser 2.0. Now before you turn this off because you think you've heard everything about Dolphin, just hold on one second. Um, what I want to show you is just how great 2.0 is as compared to the old version. Um, old version, you know, was selling multi-touch and how cool it was that it was a browser with multi-touch. And we all tested it out and we all realized that the multi-touch on it was awful and so we all uninstalled it and quit using it and all that stuff. Um, the only good feature that it really had was that it had tabbed browsing. You know the gestures were kind of funky on it, they weren't really that great. Um, the tabbed browsing was nice but that was pretty much it. So uh, we want to show you today that they fixed a lot of it and how great the multi-touch is and the gestures are better and all that stuff. So let's get right into it. Dolphin 2.0. Um, so if we pull it up you'll see we got droidlife.com up there and let's just open a couple other tabs up just to show some of you people out there that might not be familiar familiar with it exactly how it works so there I pulled up PayPal let's just pull up a third one just so we can really pump this thing up okay so there's our Google if we flick right or left we can get to our next page so if we flick there's PayPal and flick there's Google and flick and flick and there's back to droidlife.com okay very nice um, another thing we want to show you is the gestures and these are shortcuts you can you can set in there so our first gesture that I'm just going to show you as a tester if we do this little M we have that set to add a bookmark so whatever page you're on you can just quickly do that gesture and then bam it'll ask you if you want to save it as a bookmark okay another thing that we have in here is if we just do this little V then it should want to share it. So see it's doing all of our sharing with Facebook and Twitter and all those different applications and things like that. Very nice. So the gestures seem to work a lot better in this new version. Okay. The other thing and probably the biggest thing is the multi-touch. Okay, so the multi-touch used to really be jittery and it used to just not really be all that responsive and when you were zooming in it wouldn't really zoom in on what you were looking at but you can see I want to zoom in on my retweet box so I can pinch and zoom and it actually does pinch and zoom on my retweet box so you can see it's much more responsive and really actually knows what it's doing. See I just zoomed in on that retweet box. So if you pick out something that you really want to zoom in on, like this login button over here, if I pinch and zoom, it actually does zoom in right there. It used to just kind of zoom sporadically. Um, another tip I want to show you is when you're doing pinch to zoom, don't pinch your fingers close together like this and then do it. It kind of confuses it. So keep them, you know, separate a little bit and then it does it every single time. But if you get in here like this and start trying to pinch to zoom, um, the 2.0 version of Dolphin does a little bit better, but on the old version, it used to be so bad, it would start spinning and sliding the screen around. You never really knew what was going on. So as you can see, the multi-touch on it is so much nicer, which is making it actually worth trying again. I mean, this is the feature they were selling on it before, it's definitely make it worth checking out one more time. Um, and then for those of you new to it, if you want to close tabs, you just tap on that tab up there at the top. Um, and if that bar up there is really annoying you, you can just double tap in your screen and it goes away. And you can double tap and it'll come right back. Um, this also has a ton of other features. Um, like the new thing is, let's open up another tab here. Go back to PayPal. Um, so, you know, we can flick between our two screens doing the flick version. But if you go into your menu now, it actually has this little icon down here that lets you look at both of your screens like this. Okay. And then you can go over here and you can actually add another one. <laughs> so you see how that works very cool it used to not be in the old one so let's open another one up and now we got another tab so if you miss that real quick if we go into options there's this little button down here um, this is similar to you know what an iPod or an iPhone has where you can check it out each page that you have open and then just click on that page and it'll take you right into it so very nice little feature there and you can also go in to check out some more options. You can do share page from there. You can check out your downloads, your RSS subscriptions, which it does very well. And it has a ton of settings that you can set up. You can find stuff on the page you're on, all that stuff. So um, this is the Dolphin browser. and We're just doing a quick review just to show you how much it's changed, um, like this option, and then also how nice the multi-touch has become. Okay, multi-touch is what they were selling and until we get a nice multi-touch browser that comes with Android we're gonna probably stick with uh, stick with 
stick with Dolphin 2.0. So if you have any questions, comments, you want to show me any tricks with the Dolphin browser that I may not have pointed out, that'd be awesome. Um, you can leave them in the comments at the YouTube channel or at our blog, which is droid-life.com. And we're out. Peace.